All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today is a special one because in Canada and in BC, we just launched a brand new charging network uh, through the Chevron gas stations. Um, so yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. Yet another charging network uh, built by a gas station like Petro Canada. It's probably not very good. Well, I don't know if it's good or not, but I'm here. Um, the battery's quite cold, actually. We've had really, really, really wintry weather and it's really, really cold here. Uh, in BC recently so I'm not sure how much we're going to get out of it but for now it's free so this is not a review because I want to come and actually pay with my own money and see how good it is then because when it's free usually it's pretty good right Petro Canada was awesome when it was free at the beginning but for now today just a first look just to see what it is what kind of machines they're using I'm going to plug in see if I can charge see if it costs me anything really if it's free and how easy it all is all right so let's check it out but first let me just show you what it looks like so there you go. This is one of the nicest chargers that I've seen yet um, in BC. Um, very, very nice, very nice. Uh, let's go out, have a look at it. And like I mentioned, battery is really, really cold today. Um, we've got 14 degrees on the battery. So uh, I'm not expecting much in terms of uh, charging speed. But like I said, today we're going to just see what it's all about, see if it works and if it doesn't and uh, come back when it's actually operational and I do have to pay with my own money. So let's get out of the car and check it out. All right, so I'm ready with the car and let's just see. So it's called On The Run and it's from Chevron gas stations. Um, they've just recently posted that they're doing this rollout and uh, giving free charging. Um, so this one seems not to be working but this one seems to be okay. Love the nice big screen. This is so cool. And then it's a max 150 on this one and max 150 on this one. So you've got two charges here and then you've got two over there that they're installing, but right now they're red. So I guess they're not operational. And yeah, and that's the app. If you guys are looking for it, here's the QR code you can scan. So yeah, and it's, the location is pretty awesome. Right next to uh, Mary Hill Bypass, if you guys know where this is in uh, Port Coquitlam. So yeah, nice, good location. Okay, so let's uh, plug in and then see how this goes. So I've uh, clicked in, start charging. Let's see if that works or not. Okay, something's happening. The light keeps flashing. Let's have a look. Still waiting. The handshake is pretty long. Oh, there we go. Boom. Nice. So it shows you the power, how much energy has been delivered, the elapsed time, and then obviously the total cost. Right now the car is at 25. I'm not expecting much here. 39 kilowatt right now. Like I said, the battery is super, super cold. So we'll see. We'll see how it does. So here's the charger information. So it's made by a company called Freewire. And it's brand new, August, 2022. There you go. That's all the details. So 150 kilowatt max, 350 amps, CCS dual, which is nice. Very, very good. Look at the icicle, so crazy. Very cold today and the last few days. But yeah, it's uh, humming along. Oh, here's the Here's the, the company logo. But like I say, very nice charger. It's beautiful. Oh, cool. It shows you like your current state of charge. So I guess it moves up as you're charging. That's so cool. I love it. And then let's see, update. We're still, oh, 41 now. So a little bit higher, a little bit higher. And as you guys see, it's for free now. So. If you live in this area, you should definitely try it out, but download the app, you need the app. So let's have a look at the other one. This one here. Oh, this one has a Chatamo. Oh, so this one is gonna have a Chatamo. So the Chatamo is 100 kilowatt max. The CCS is 150. Interesting. So this one's gonna have the Chatamo. So you've got three CCS and one Chatamo. 
and as you guys can see the battery is very cold 14 degrees still and we're pulling around 40 39.9 the screen is saying 42 up there i can see um so yeah uh, we're not getting blazing speeds today obviously i'm gonna try this again on a warmer day with a warmer battery but yeah for now i'm really liking the design the lights everything is lit up nicely here so you're able to plug in easily and that little bar that shows you your progress so awesome yeah so the car is saying 41 42 but actual we're getting oh we're kind of touching 40 here man it's starting to snow well there we go 53 54 we've been here 17 minutes 13.34 kilowatt hour delivered we're not paying anything today i'm gonna keep this up until 50 percent and let's see i'm gonna jump back and and and, and uh let's have a look at the numbers for the battery uh the, the 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 heat level of the battery see if it's warming up or not but for now this is pretty good Ooh, the afterburners have turned on on the charger so there you go so for now I, I, I didn't get 54 kilowatt when I was uh, charging at uh, Petro Canada. So this is much better. Please remember that the Kia Soul EV can only take a max of 75 anyway. The most I ever got was like 78 in the most perfect conditions. So we're 20 away on a cold battery and a pretty high state of charge. You'd have to go really deep under 10% with a warm battery to get max charging speeds. So definitely this is something that we're going to check out but yeah so far so good awesome location as well love it yeah so it's coming down the snow is coming down but anyways let's go in and then check out sorry the car is super dirty and everybody's out of uh out of uh, windshield wiper fluid because we're never ready for snow in bc unfortunately yeah so batteries are almost 19 degrees sweet spot for this battery is anything over 20 that's when you're getting pretty good charging speeds and if you go deep under 10 percent you're basically maximizing the curve right there so yeah not bad let's see if this uh this improves um by the time we unplug but yeah, so far so good. Okay guys, I think we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna unplug soon. We're almost at 50, 50% um, 50 here. So this is the most I could be getting at 50% anyway. So I'm guessing that if I show up here under 10% with a warm battery, which is over 20, 20 degrees, please remember that guys, if you're ever charging a um, one of these older Hyundai or Kia cars with the 64 kilowatt hour battery or under, um you have to come in at least with a 20 degree battery to get maximum speed so yeah not a bad product so far um i'm really liking what chevron is trying to do here for us way better than what petro canada ever did does the chevron ev charging solution here in canada make sense is it better so far than petro canada or uh well no that's the only one that's uh oh shell i always forget about my favorite shell right because in, in in bc we, we only have petro canada which is you know through a gas station shell through a gas station now chevron through this network here so far i mean the speeds i was getting i expect to get that at 50 percent with a with a warm battery so i'm sure that if i show up here with less than 10 percent on a warm battery i'm going to get all the speed that i need and my 75 kilowatt is going to be there. You know, I don't expect 78 because like I said, that was perfect conditions when we were in the States, but if it's 75, it's perfect. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna be back when this is actually operational 100% and you have to pay for it. Um, so we'll see how much they will charge because right now we don't know yet the pricing. Um, so I'll be back when it's, you know, officially launched with a price, going to charge, going to come here on a warm battery with less than 10%, do an 80% run and see how it goes. But so far, I'm impressed. So free wire, 
you make some good hardware chevron you've invested money and you actually spend money on the right things and let's hope that they stay online there's no issues with software and everything works as it should all right guys thanks so much for watching if you like the video like it if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to subscribe and that's it that's all thanks so much take care bye